family welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is Naomi you're highly welcome and um, I want to quickly take you through this three days challenge I saw on fantastic favors page I saw this and she left the link where she saw it in our own description page in our own description box down there and that is um, the link that took me to Soma Aku's video and i also watched um summer accrues three days challenge live guys <laughs> when fantastic favor did us she lost about two kg thereabouts she saw it on summer accrues page and summer Aku, who is the original um person who brought out this three days challenge lost about 4.5 kg in three days and i was amazed i'm like you all know how we struggle to lose weight and then I said to myself, I would give this a try. And if it works, boom, we got it, guys. So as you all know, I am somebody that loves challenges a lot. I love competition. So this is like a good challenge for me. And that is why I'm taking it upon myself to embark on this three days challenge. But guess what, guys? I've been able to influence my husband to join me and I'm so happy because it's good when you are embarking on anything to have a supportive um, partner, somebody who would do this alongside with you, probably when you go to the gym or when you are working upon any kind of project and you have somebody you're doing this alongside with. One, it would encourage you. Two, it would make you not to give up easily. You know, that support, that feel that um, you've got a, a second partner there to help you. I feel it's really, really a good thing. So if you want to do something like this, I would suggest you have somebody. It might not be your husband. It might not be your wife. It could be a friend or a colleague. But if you get your wife or your husband to support you and join you in this, that would be a great one. Especially when you both are living in the same home, you know, you eat the same thing. I mean, it's going to be fantastic and it will encourage you. So I'm so excited because my husband has joined me to participate in this three days challenge. And today is the first day I decided to carry you guys through this beautiful journey together. So I'm going to go ahead now and um, weigh myself. My husband as well would weigh himself so would know our current weight at the moment and then um we'd also go ahead and check our statistics would um check our our tummy size our waist and bust and everything we'll take all these measurements and then after three days and to the end of this journey because it's a great journey you know to the end of this journey we would see but trust me i want to be able to lose as much as summer i could did because I'm going to be following everything she did, details into details. I have watched these videos countless times and I've also watched Fantastic Favors videos countless times. This same particular 3 days challenge video and like the old things right in my head. Although I have been able to put them down as well and I can't wait to see the results really. So with that being said. Let me go ahead now and then weigh myself. And guys, stay tuned and let's see what I would eventually weigh at the end. From now, I'm going to weigh myself now. So from now, we know my current weight. And let's see what I would end after the three days. Yesterday, I went shopping for the all of these things. And I'll carry along and show you everything I bought. And if you watch that fine, you would also know. And then I would like to repeat it again. But then, let me put out this disclaimer, just the way everyone has always done. This is not um, a doctor's um, recommendation. If you want to embark on this journey, please, please, please speak to your doctor and know if it's the best for you. Especially when you have any health conditions. So please speak to your doctor before embarking on this journey. And even some I could said it on a video that even if you do this don't try and do this every day every day every day it's not going to be healthy for you um you can do it every other week or once a month or there about you know space it so you can have other days to incorporate other meals into your diet because you can't just go on like that 
in just doing this challenge all like that no it will not be healthy for you so this is a disclaimer so please 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 guys okay so let me don't talk too much anymore and um let's go on and let me weigh myself now and my husband as well and uh i can't wait guys <laughs> So guys, I've got my scale here and I'm ready to weigh myself. Are you excited about this? Because I am really excited about this. But let me quickly put this out. Please, before you weigh yourself, make sure you weigh yourself first thing in the morning after using the toilet, before drinking anything or eating anything. And make sure you go stark naked. Like I will be going stark naked. All of this will be going off my body so as to get my accurate weights so that nothing would be adding to my original weight size because if i leave this rope on it's going to add to my weight size and i don't want that i want to know my accurate weight size so it is advisable to always weigh yourself totally naked nothing don't wear anything you start naked like you are going to have your shower like that yes nothing no stockings no underwears nothing just be naked and then weigh yourself and make sure you do it first thing in the morning after using the toilet so that if there is anything in your stomach like your food that digested the previous night you do the number two and it goes any water you do the number one and it goes and your body is empty that is the right time to weigh yourself so i'm excited let's do this guys yeah So guys, at the moment, as you can see, I am weighing 81.2 kg. And my husband is weighing 103.2 kg. Now I'm at the supermarket shopping for all we need for this weight loss challenge. Guys, I am excited. So I would show you all of everything that is in my basket as soon as i get home and prep them hello naomi's farm hello my family here are the ingredients and everything i would need for this three days challenge here is my salmon fillets this is my beef and here is my peanut butter i've got two because I don't want to lack anything in the process of this challenge. I buy more than enough. After all, I will still use it eventually another day. Here is my hot chocolate drink. Here is my milk that I'll be using. And that's my chicken burger. And oranges. Um, my avocado. Nana. And... Here, my mixed bell peppers, the red, yellow, and green bell peppers. Here is my parsley leaf and my spring onion. All of these I have gone ahead to, you know, wash them. And then they're thoroughly washed now and clean and ready to go. I love to buy enough things so I don't lack anything in the process. Because I want to be accurate in this. Like I said earlier. I don't want to miss out anything. And I want to make sure I lose 4.5 kg as well. Just the way Summer Aku did. So I went all the way out. To search and search and search for everything. And I got it. Like I said earlier. The good news is I'm not doing this alone. I'm doing this with my husband. And that's why you see a lot of everything. Like two times the quantity of what's. You would basically need for this challenge so i bought for two people and yeah i'm ready let's go guys let's go burn and lose some weight let's go <laughs> let's go this morning being day one for our breakfast i'm just um getting ready to make our hot chocolate drink um i've got my milk in the teacup 
and um, I've gone ahead to heat up the milk so the milk is warm and um, I'm just adding the hot chocolate into it right now one tablespoon for the hot chocolate and the banana is prepped already we are using three bananas i would be eating three bananas my husband would also be eating three bananas i've gone ahead to slice them on the plates so i'm just mixing up the milk with the hot chocolate drink you have to mix it properly make sure you mix it very well so it's uh, it will be well mixed up and um, the next thing i would be adding would be the peanut butter i'm using the crunchy peanut butter you can use this smooth one it depends on your choice so i would be using one full tablespoon of the crunchy peanut butter please be generous with it don't mice the size use complete full one tablespoon be generous with it and enjoy your meal like summer ako said the whole of this thing you just have to eat and eat until you are full there is no starving involved so that is what my husband and i would be having for breakfast today so here is what our breakfast look like after prepping and we are ready to eat <sighs> i can't wait to dig in guys <laughs> Please note, eating banana and peanuts is not a good combination. So yeah, guys, it's time to have lunch. And have gone ahead to preheat my oven. It's my oven tray. And I'm just going to go ahead now and rub in some unsalted butter in my oven tray. I purposely preheated my oven tray so that once i do this it melts out the butter i need to without no stress can you see that this is just to allow the chicken burger not to stick on the oven tray so now i'm just going to go ahead and open my chicken burger i don't know if you can see this my chicken burger and it says six here but i'm to eat four and my husband is to also eat four so i'm going to be making eight pieces i have two packs of this so i'm going to be making eight pieces so i'm going to be making four from this pack for myself now my husband stepped out and um, I would make his own when he comes back because I love to serve him his food warm, warm to hot. And this one, once you bake it, you should not pre-eat it. You should eat it immediately. So I would not have to pre-eat it. So I'll make my husband so as soon as he steps back into the house. This is what my chicken burger looks like. So I'll be using four pieces of this. I'm going to put this straight into the oven for 18 approximately 18 to 20 minutes but i would turn it over in between the time so and i would bake this at 200 degrees Yeah, 
let's check how many minutes left okay nine minutes so let's um whoa hmm. that smells nice see wow i see let's give that um a turn okay yeah let's give this um the remaining eight minutes to cook right there in the oval going and yeah. okay i can hear you you were ready thank you oh oh let's turn that off first wow look at the smoke guys Wow, I hope my smoke alarm won't go off. Mm, not looking bad. Let's bring it out to sit on the stove. I'll let that rest for a minute or two minutes. I like it whenever I bring out anything from my oven. I'll leave it to rest there a little. So that everything can be infused in it properly all the ingredients would sit right back inside so i'm gonna leave that for a minute or so or two minutes yeah so yes guys let's try it so yeah let's get into action it smells good really so that's just the good part of it so let me see mm, smells like kfc chicken <laughs> bad i like it really i do mm. i'm sure my husband will like this as well you guys i've been enjoying myself this meal is so filling same thing with um the breakfast the banana and the peanut butter is so filling in fact when i went to make this for lunch i just had to go and make it for lunch because i wasn't even hungry but look at the time this is um 5.35 and I'm just having lunch. I've been so fueled up and I haven't even drank water. Gosh, let me just continue because I just have to eat everything summer I could eat because I want to be sure. You know me. <laughs> number one, I'm a perfectionist. And number two, I wouldn't say I'm a doubter, but I don't doubt people. But I like to try whatever you say. Put it into action and then see if it's real or not. So. I don't even want to hear this story. Maybe because um, I skipped a meal. It's going to affect my weight loss. Or I'm overeating. It's going to affect me. Mm -mm. I want to do everything she did exactly. And that's why I went out all, all the way. To get everything she got except this one which is still oh good let me quickly show you guys the time so you're sure of what i'm saying guys let's go so you can look at the time that's the time over there that's it 5 35 20 minutes to 6 p.m and i'm just having my lunch i've been so full but I just had to force myself to eat. Otherwise, that's how I will not eat lunch. And I'm, when I weigh myself eventually, I'll be hearing story. And I don't want to hear any story. Come, come at all. Okay, so let me continue with this and try and finish up. You need to try this. If not for anything, for the nice meals involved in it. Even if you don't want to lose weight. Just try it. Try the meals. But when you add it to lose weight, let's see what's going to happen. Bye for now. Until dinner time, meet me on the table. So yeah guys for dinner 
I'll be having four oranges for dinner. So I'm going to go ahead now and prep this. This is my dinner for day one. My day one dinner. Please note, I'll be having the same breakfast and dinner for the three days. So I'm going to be doing the challenge. So here is my yeah. dinner, guys. And I'm having my dinner at, uh, what's the time now? 8.50, 6pm. That's like um, two minutes from my... Remember, the secret behind all this is... Do not eat before 10 a.m. and do not eat after 10 p.m. So, yeah. Let's go. Mm. Yummy. Mm. When you want to buy your orange, make sure you buy soft, juicy, sweet orange so you can enjoy your dinner. Just the way I am enjoying my mm. and please remember you have to eat your orange all like this. Do not juice it, eat it all so you can eat the fiber as well. Good night, guys, and see you tomorrow for day two. Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful morning, and my husband and I, we are ready for our breakfast, and we are having the same breakfast as of yesterday. The same thing we ate yesterday is the same thing we are having today, being day two. So breakfast is prepped and ready on the table, and we are ready to also dig in <laughs> 1 25 p.m and i'm just having my breakfast i just finished having my breakfast like this three days challenge is something like you wouldn't even feel hungry like my husband and i we woke up this morning and we're saying to each other i don't feel hungry he said to me i don't feel hungry i said to him same me i don't even feel hungry but we had to force ourselves to eat because of um, time and so we don't miss out on any um, on any meal to complete the three days challenge you know the lunch looks so amazing and I know it will taste amazing as well so look forward to the lunch lunch time so I'm going to go ahead now guys and start making lunch for my husband in here is my frozen salmon I'm making the first one for my husband because it's going to work. So I would prepare him first. And this one is frozen spring onion. After that, I added my scotch bonnet pepper. Who doesn't love scotch bonnet? <laughs> there also goes in my parsley. And um, I would be adding sea salt. Sea salt is actually good better than your table salt so if you are still using table salt what are you waiting for switch 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 to sea salt and um i'm also adding some kenya pepper uh, my husband and i will love spicy food in this house so if you can't tolerate the level of the pepper reduce it to your taste i've also added some minced um, garlic and i'm going to be adding all purpose seasoning this is msg free if you are still eating msg seasoning i'm sorry for you you had better stop it so i'm also going to be adding some mixed herbs in here which is also very healthy and spicy there also goes in my curry powder and i'm going to be adding some warm to hot water into it you don't have to cook in this style you can cook in your own style this is my own style of cooking my salmon fillet so i'll just cover that and bring it to a boil 
So while that is boiling aside, I'll go ahead and prep my avocado. I was told when you see that seed on top, that means the avocado would be fresh inside. So let's see if the outcome would be fresh. Oh no, this is bad. This is so rotted. Wow. Let me give the second one a try. The seed is there. The head is there. So let me cut it and see if I would get inside of it fresh. And yeah, it is fresh. <laughs> I finally got it. So this one is fresh and um, I'll go ahead and grab a spoon and from the little end of the avocado i'll scoop it in to bring out the avocado fresh without spilling it around so um use the knife to dig in to get the seed out you have to try a couple of times if it doesn't work the first time and you see this end that's where you should start from if you want to scoop out a very good and neat avocado start from the tiniest end not the big bottom and you get the best yeah so this click on my salad master skillet signifies that my fish has come to a boil so i'll have to go on and just um turn it around and mix it all up so that the the juice can get into the fish so i'm going to scoop the juice and try to put it on top of the fish i'm also going to break them into two each of them i'll break it into two and try to get the juice to get into the fish so that the fish can be tasty inside and outside the the other wooden spoon wasn't doing what i wanted so I am using a smaller spoon to be able to pack the juice of the fish and make sure it gets into the fish properly so it can cook well in and out so that when you eat your fish, it will be tasty inside and outside. So I'll cover that again now and bring it to a boil. And now I'll reduce my heat and give that time to boil. Why that is boiling again, I'll go ahead and go ahead and dice my avocado. This avocado, this is just um, two pieces, but I diced it into four pieces. And I will be using this section for the base of my husband's meal. So this is the base. I purposely made it um, a bit soggy wow the fish is ready now the water is dried up and i'll just go on and mix it all up again break it more into pieces and mix it all up totally and allow it to simmer again for about one to two minutes and voila it's ready finally finally ready so this is my salmon fillet ready and good to go so i'm just going to go ahead and dish it out so that it can cool off faster and quicker because my husband would be going to work soon so i want it to cool off i'll dish it out and that's what it looks like guys <laughs> this food looks so yummy 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 and as you can see, the avocado in the in the plate, in the bowl, is a bit soggy. It was purposely done like that. And the one on the plate is diced neatly. So I'll go on now and plate everything into my husband's um, lunch box. So I'm adding the fillets, the salmon fillet on top of the um, soggy avocado. And now I'll just go on and place the remaining other two avocados i used four avocados in total for my husband so i'll just place it the the neat avocado i'll arrange it neatly on top of the fish just like this and voila my husband's lunch is ready
in fact i feel like digging in right now but <laughs> this is not mine this is for my husband so it's lunch is ready and this looks so yummy guys i can't wait to test this so this is what it would be taking to work and i'll go on now and just cover it up remember to add um spoon or fork or anything because it will be so bad when he gets to walk to eat this lovely food and there is no spoon there he will feel so bad so it's ready and um here is his water as well so lunch is ready for my husband guys like you saw what happened to me when i was making lunch for my husband today you don't want that to happen to you right so it's better you buy things more than enough just in case anyone is bad or anything goes wrong you would know that yes you are safe and you still have um, something to back on to see me now i'm popping out immediately to go buy more avocados so as to have the one i can have for my lunch like three to four pieces of the avocados we bought were bad and the thing is this avocado they are scarce i don't know if it's not just the avocado season or the people who are delivering and not um, bringing in stuffs you know things are happening around the world pandemic and then um, brexit and everything so probably the trucks who are meant to deliver these things are, are not delivering it or it's just not the avocado season i don't know because this is a tip for you if you plan on embarking on this kind of challenge or any other thing in life make sure you prepare yourself and get more than enough after all nothing is going to be wasted you will still use it eventually even if you don't finish them at that moment you will eventually use them so don't be like me now rushing out and popping out to quickly go buy more avocado and um and other stuff that i didn't plan to and now this is um getting into my schedule for the day i didn't plan to do this today because i had other things lined up to do i had um other works to do so now this is affecting my schedule a little bit but i would hurry up and try and adjust because i do not want to miss anything in this challenge and i want to complete it i don't want anything to obstruct it so i'll go all the way i don't even mind going to 10 stores today before evening to get my avocado and have my lunch even if i'm going to have late lunch which, uh, which i predict is what will happen but it's still okay because yesterday monday i actually had late lunch because this thing like i said earlier you don't even feel hungry you are the one that would eventually force yourself to eat so it's fine if i have late lunch today again and um that'll be it so i'll carry you guys along so keep watching and if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for go on hit the subscribe button press that red subscribe button it's free subscribe to my channel thank god guys i'm back home and i finally found avocado so i'm here now prepping my avocado i've gone ahead to cook my own fillet my own salmon fillet and my food is ready so let me just complete my my plating and i'll see you so yeah guys my lunch is ready for day two lunch is ready lunch is ready come and join me yeah so this is um salmon fillet and avocado yeah guys i really 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 struggled to finish this food that was a lot hmm it's tasty but it's so filling but i have to finish it because i want to finish it just like the way summer aku did so that i can lose my 4.5 kg or even more i don't want to hear because i did not eat enough fat i couldn't burn enough fat so that's why i did my best to finish and now it's done I thank you, God, for a successful lunch. Yeah. 
You guys, you wouldn't believe the time I'm having this lunch. You see that? 6.55 p.m. So, my dinner would be the same thing as of yesterday, which is four oranges. This is the two dinner. So, I'm having the same thing. Please note, I'll be having the same breakfast and dinner for the whole three days challenge. The only thing that would change would be my lunch. But the breakfast and dinner is the same thing. So here is my dinner, guys. Remember the secret behind all this is do not eat before 10 a.m. and do not eat after 10 p.m. Good morning, guys. I'm eating already this morning. It's day three and breakfast is ready. But today, guys, I don't feel like sitting on the dining table to eat. <laughs> I just feel like sitting on the couch to eat so my food is sitting right on my tie on my lap this is scotch bonnet In my pot already, I got the beef and water. And then I added the sea salt and now I'm adding my scotch bonnet. Next, I'll be adding a simple tiny pepper. Yeah, that's it. We love our food spicy, so we're okay with pepper. My husband and I will love our food spicy. So yeah, I'm going to cover that and bring that to the boy. So while that is cooking, I'll go on and prep my frozen bell peppers. I've got the red, the yellow and the green bell peppers. So I'm just going to go on and prep them dice it take out the seeds and the roots and dice them into small pieces just like the way you are seeing it dice it into tiny tiny bits you would do the same thing for all the peppers the green the yellow and the red bell peppers so i'm just repeating the same thing here cleaning them up and dicing them into smaller pieces so that you can have the same size with the beef so the green is done and the red is also done yeah wow at that guys yeah this is done now this is soft and succulent and the water is also dried up now just exactly how i want it yeah and also just exactly how summer aku said it should be done so I'm going to set this aside now and go ahead and stir fry and our lunch will be ready. <laughs> wow. So for this stir fry, I would be using some extra virgin olive oil oil and after that i'll be adding my blended onion i am in that category of people that don't love to see onion in their food but i can eat it when it's blended if you are in that category comment in the comment section and say i am here too i don't eat onion when it is visible <laughs> so i'm just going to go on now and add in my scotch bonnet please remember 
you don't have to add the same quantity I'm adding. I love spicy food and so with my husband. So put your pepper to your taste. And I'm adding now my diced mixed bell peppers. Just the one you and I diced together now. So I'm just going to throw that in there and stir fry that for a little while. And top it up with my all-purpose seasoning MSG free. And hey, it's finished. So let's finish it then. <laughs> so after that, I'll go in and add in my curry powder. Add in some reasonable amount of curry powder. I'm sorry, guys. There's no measurement in this um, cooking. You just have to use your woman cooking knowledge and add the spices. So I added more um, pepper. I used the Kenya pepper. And now I'm going to throw in my mixed herbs. And after putting my mixed herb, I will just go on and stir that together. Mix it all up and make sure they are well combined. And, you know, allow it to stir fry a bit. And now I'm going to add my cooked beef. And mix that all up as well and just stir that for a while. I'll stir fry that as well and look at that guys. Just look at. I allow that also to simmer for one to two minutes and lunch is ready. And dinner is ready. Remember the secret behind all this is do not eat before 10 a.m. and do not eat after 10 p.m. So, yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. This is 102.2. So, you lost one kg. guys good morning i don't even know if it's really good for me this morning after weighing myself you guys you already saw the results so i don't even know how to feel i don't know how i feel right now i don't know if i'm excited or i should just take it the way it is i think i don't have any choice i would only have to take it the way it is so you guys saw that i lost nothing like nothing i did not lose any kg i did not lose any weight i don't know if i should call that zero zero point zero one because i only lost less than um i only lost one one what should i call it i don't know it's not up to a kg and i don't know what to call it but my husband actually lost one kg like one kg in three days that is because he was always cycling to walk, to and fro to walk. I did not do any form of exercise because the original person who is summer, I could have brought out this, this three days weight loss challenge, said you don't have to do any form of exercise. She did not do any form of exercise. And other people who have also done this same three days weight loss challenge did not incorporate any form of exercise in these three days while they were doing this challenge so i decided not to do any form of exercise as well in the process of this three days challenge and i did not do it and i did not lose any weight but the good thing is i still thank god that i did not add any weight like because that would be where i'll be so upset with everything and even with myself but thank god instead of um adding more I actually just lost one inch and I would manage that like that would be okay for me so this challenge I don't even know where to blame it on I don't know if it's I can't blame it on the exercise because I wasn't meant to exercise and I was meant to um, lose 4.5 kg as summer I could say but I did not lose anything and I ate everything except the um 
the burger she used turkey burger but i used chicken burger but other people who have also done this challenge they did not really follow the food routine as much as i did and they claimed or they said they lost weight i don't know the magic they did though <laughs> because i don't know what to do or say anymore my husband who lost one kg i would put it on because it cycles to walk through and fro. so you know when you cycle you are exercising yeah so we can't even say um it's not because of the cycle it is because of it, of him cycling me that did not do any form of exercise purposely lost nothing zero zero point zero one please who knows what to call that because i don't know what to call that is it is less than a kg obviously but i don't know what to call it so let me don't even pour my <laughs> frustration right now on this video because i am not happy at all guys that's just the sincere truth i did my best i went all the way out i did everything in details into details and the result is i'm not impressed with the result that's just the simple truth so i don't know what to do again or say again probably i would give it a second try but not anytime soon and maybe that period when i'll give it a second try i would get the turkey burger and not the chicken burger so let me just put the blame on the chicken burger for now and let's see i would give this a try again but above all i love all the meals involved in it and um i love the my favorite was the um uh, my favorite was the salmon and avocado i enjoyed that a lot and i learned something and i hope you also learned something from this video so with that being said please share this video you can give it a try yourself give it to your friends family colleagues anyone they can give it a try and your metabolism would probably work faster or better than mine probably my metabolism is slow so maybe when you try it you could lose weight and even more than i did and more than my husband did so give it a try let's don't condemn the challenge yet give it a try and i will give it a second try as well like i said so i would see you in my next one please give this video a thumbs up and thank you for staying with me all through till now to see the end result thank you for sticking with me and i'll see you in my next one bye